Hello, this is Eric, AC9BX, taking a look at the FeatureTech AW07A antenna analyzer. This model is rebadged by MFJ as 266. On the newer versions, you'll quickly find that there's a jumper inside where we can switch between external power or battery, and then we can plug in and choose to use a rechargeable lithium ion battery or there's a pack inside the back cover for four double A's. I'm using the lithium ion rechargeable, so let's close it up and get started. We have a vernier knob for fine adjustment of your operating frequency, a jack for DC power input, the power switch, some up and down buttons that choose modes and switch through bands, and buttons for um, operating ranges, HF or VHF and UHF. At the top is a nice N connector for your antenna. When you first turn the unit on, you have a quick option, it only lasts a few seconds, to enable the backlight. So we'll turn the power on, quickly press the U button, and the backlight comes on. You then have an option on the screen to choose between uh, frequency counter mode or antenna analyzer mode. We'll choose antenna analyzer. We're currently in HF and we're at band A. Uh, which has a range that covers 160 meters. These bands overlap, so you have lots of room. You can cover the entire HF spectrum uh, from the very bottom to the very top. It's, it's a very wide range unit. If we go up, we can change the bands. There's band B, there's band C, intended for 40 meters, and then we can dial around the frequency. We have um, 7 megahertz, 6 megahertz. Interestingly, in HF mode, the frequency range uh, is backwards. When we turn clockwise, the frequency decreases. Here's 6.6 .6 megahertz. We keep going clockwise, 5.7 megahertz. In the VHF and UHF mode, clockwise increases. All right, here we are in VHF mode, and we have the two meter band range displayed here. I have nothing connected, so the measurements are completely out of whack. Um, but you see a a DC measurement, 350 ohms, you get an imaginary part, whether it's uh, inductive or capacitive, uh, and the sign will tell you that if it's plus or minus, you can determine whether your load is inductive or capacitive, the total impedance, and the SWR. Uh, again, right now the range is ridiculous as it's driving an open circuit. Now, in VHF mode, this is one of the later versions of this antenna analyzer. If we keep going up in frequency, we see it covers the 220 band. Here's 223. This goes all the way up to approximately 230 and a little bit, 230 megahertz. In UHF, we see it goes up to approximately 510 megahertz and of course way down to about 380. So here's the 70 centimeter band we can go down to there's 310 yeah you get down to about 300 megahertz less than that and you get a output error warning in UHF mode you do not get impedance calculations however only SWR there you go the FeatureTech AW07A, also known as MFJ266, a very capable and very affordable antenna analyzer. The only issue I found was frequency stability. It does drift around quite a bit, so precision measurements will have to be made fairly quickly. The fine-tuning knob does help, however. Until next time, 7-3.